What's up everyone, it's Caddy with MoneyVest. So in today's video, I wanted to address a very, very important message. And uh, again, this is in by no means um, trying to pick on anybody because I do like to go through the comments um, and kind of really take your feedback and your value uh, is very, very important because I've tried to keep this channel as customer centric as possible, as audience centric as possible. And for that very reason, you guys know that I never take any paid sponsorships. I never shill any any penny stocks or any any cryptos or anything of that matter. I always want to provide very objective and unbiased analysis and opinion on the channel. Uh, but I did come across a comment from Alex Harvey, and again, shout out to him and providing feedback. That's exactly what I want. Uh, so I really do appreciate you. But this right here was a comment. He mentioned, uh, and I quote, uh, bro, with all due respect, you really don't provide any value in your videos anymore. There are so many other YouTubers sharing at least some of what they are buying and also doing fundamental analysis on companies. So, you know, one of the things that I do want to mention is we have for the longest time focused on anything but fundamental analysis. I mean, if you go back, we have not really focused on any of the stories around any companies. We have talked about real fundamental analysis when it comes to more specifically quantitative analysis going over the actual numbers uh, of any businesses. So if you go back, we've got over, uh, you know, almost 4,000 videos on the channel, uh, multiple revisions and updated analysis on, uh, on the channel. If anything, we were talking about intrinsic values in the beginning. I mean, since three years ago, we've been talking about intrinsic value and of course, fair values on individual stocks long before, in my opinion, anybody else got started talking about fair values and intrinsic values and price targets. For the longest time, it was very much on stories and specific contracts or whatever that company was doing. But the point is that I unfortunately cannot sit here and try to justify the quality of the channel. Um, I really do wish everybody who wants to be a part of our journey over the long term, um, you know, and I welcome them with open arms, but if anybody wants to obviously go elsewhere, uh, and if you do find value in, let's say, other YouTubers that are sharing at least some of what they're buying or doing fundamental analysis, by all means, please go ahead. Um, I wish you really but nothing but the best because, like I said, we have a very specific criteria of looking at companies. Uh, as you already know, we've got our money vest metrics, and that money vest metrics are basically a combination of over 70 different metrics that we look at that's going to be put on our website as well. Um, and these are the things that we like to focus on as a community when we're kind of filtering out stocks. This is based on growth and profitability. That's one and two. Then we've got financial health. Then we've got efficiency and valuation. So those are the five different buckets that we like to focus on when we're analyzing any company for that matter. <clears throat> And then of course, once we have uh, gone through all the money best metrics, then we like to look at our discounted cash flow and discounted earnings multiple model to better understand what's the intrinsic value of the stock itself. So every single video, every single analysis is coming from a very educational standpoint. Um, you know, not every stock is worth buying um, at whatever price. So I'm sure there's other people that are buying a lot of stocks out there, not saying that they're wrong, but it's just different criteria, different ways of looking at companies, different analysis. And for that reason, I think that's where there can be some disagreements or there can be some, um, you know, things that we may not be on the same page. And that is completely normal because that's really what makes the market. That's what makes the market at the end of the day. And, and really, you know, I wanted to also address that um, we look at the markets in a very different way because I like to focus very much on risk and reward. Right. So that's what I've tried to incorporate on the channel. So I may not buy as frequently, but historically speaking and you know, speaking from experience, but when we do actually start buying, which is when the volatility is high, which is when the markets are you know, selling off and we are seeing oversold levels, uh, not to mention that we are we're also looking at the money vest index, which basically tells us where the risk reward is optimal. In, in, in other words, where it's really, really good to be dollar cost averaging and deploying money back into the market it's been useful for us. Doesn't mean it's going to be useful for you because like I said, no two market participants are going to be uh, equal or they're going to be looking at the markets in the same way. So yes, there can be disagreements and yes, there can be, um, you know, our strategies, our analysis can be on different pages. So I don't expect the content that I create here on the channel at MoneyVest uh, to appeal to everybody out there. And that is something that I have to accept uh, my focus is not on the 18 to 20 people 
that let's say dislike the video uh, or don't appreciate the way I look at the markets or analyze the markets. My focus is very much on the 300 or the 500 that drop the like button and of course do appreciate the type of analysis or the fundamental and the quantitative analysis, the money best metrics that we have in place. And of course, um, the the amount of time and effort that we're putting in to analyze the markets on a more macro level. Because like I said, my goal at the end of the day is to keep this a very, very user friendly and user centric channel, which is exactly why I like to analyze companies and stocks that you want me to, whether it's during the live streams, whether it's individual stock videos, I always want to provide my analysis and unbiased objective views on companies that are important to you. And I would never, never sell my soul to take paid sponsorships, even though I get emailed every single day, whether it's different cryptos or different penny stocks or whatever, paying 10, 20, $30,000 to promote a stock. I would never do that because I've kept uh, one thing steady of this channel is that I would never compromise on the quality of the channel. Um, for money or for views or for anything else. So keeping that intact, I, I totally understand Alex where you're coming from and maybe a few other people that do agree with him. I totally understand that. And look, my only message is going to be that you've got plenty of other options, plenty of other channels. Uh, I'm never going to ask anyone or force anyone to follow MoneyVest or connect with me here or watch only my videos. There's plenty of other content creators and I wish you nothing but the best. There's no hard feelings and I do really appreciate your feedback and everybody else's over time. Do also offer any, uh, any things that you, anything that you do disagree with and what would you like to see more of in the future? And I'll see if I can incorporate that in my future videos as well. So thank you so much. Really appreciate you and everybody else who's been part of our journey. Happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.